It was a long holiday weekend at the box office and a familiar face takes over the number one spot at the box office. Here's film critic Will Loper with the numbers and reviews in the Loper Report. Hey, Mark and Charlotte. Denzel Washington proves he still got box office power with the Equalizer 3 opening to number one this past weekend with 34.5 million and nabbing the second best Labor Day opening weekend ever. But does the film itself pack a punch? Nine seconds. That's what I'll give you to decide your fate. Denzel returns as Robert McCall, a former defense intelligence worker who we first met in The Equalizer in 2014, directed by Antoine Fuqua. He didn't take out five pimps. He took out the East Coast hub of the Russian mafia. Denzel would return in the less well-received sequel in 2018. They're going to war with me. This time around, the character who is known for being able to dispatch a large amount of bad guys, no matter the odds, is in Italy when he gets shot. You seem like a man who understands violence. As he recovers, he begins to befriend the people of a small Italian village. Because of these people, I'm beginning to understand real people. Oh. And I'm starting to believe. This is where I'm supposed to be. That is, until the Mafia gets in his way, and Robert has to kick butt. She's the other father people's business. Whatever it is you and your friends do, do it somewhere else. This film focuses less on the action and is more of a slow burn, as we see Robert McCall take his time to recover and calculate his moves against the miles. You warning me? I'm preparing. Although it would have been nice to have a little more action, a grander finale, and more Dakota Fanning, it's hard to deny Denzel's star power and ability to command the screen. The Equalizer 3 is worth seeing, but maybe wait until it's at home to rent. Nine seconds. Over on streaming services, newly streaming on Netflix Wednesday is the show Predators. In South America, puma numbers are booming. But more cats means more competition. Tom Hardy narrates the series featuring nature's hunter. On Netflix Thursday is the fifth season of the drama series Virgin River. Jack. That's Virgin River. Real heroes are the ones with the courage to do what's right. Walk toward the things most people would run away from. And newly streaming on Disney Plus Wednesday is a second season of I Am Groot. Watch everyone's favorite talking tree get up to more hijinks. For Live at Four, I'm Will Loper. Hey, Groot. There's a lot happening. <laughs> Lots going on, that's for sure. <laughs>